Hello and welcome back to Boring Dad Gaming, where today we're going to be playing some more Our Adventurer Guild. Going to go out and do another mission today, I think. Um, I will say that I've just bumped up the XP gain again, uh, mainly because I, I'm convinced that in the upgrades, I think that when we're acknowledged, I think we might find an upgrade to be able to get the sixth party member, which I think will be big. Be able to have a lot, lot more balanced parties going out, which would be good. We've already seen the difficulty spiking a little bit now in the uh, latest mission that we did. Um, yeah, and but we have a story mission kind of gating the way to that, which uh, is this four star mission. Recommended six to eight, and given the difficulty spike, I don't want to go in with any le any less than level eight troops. Um, but with so many in our roster, it's going to be a little while before we get there, I think. Um, yeah, so basically what I might do, I might do an A-team mission, see see how see how we can level these guys up in the next mission. What are we lacking? Uh, it's pretty balanced actually. We've got a mage, got a healer, tank. Um, I have to say, I think I consider I would consider Odin an A-team member now. Just he was absolutely slaying in that <laughs> in that last fight. Really powerful class, that arcane knight, it seems. Um, but let's see what we got. Um we could do another Hunt the Target mission. Yes, yeah, so this was at 15 before, so let's increase a little bit more on that. Lots of treasure here. Could be a good one. Uh, yeah. Let's give it a go. Let's move the A-team in. So we have Simchi, Luis, Solaris, Rowan, and Brom. Let's, uh, let's make all our equipment available. So, yeah, so we've got a nice strong sword and shield there. We've got a strong sword there. Uh, we've got some daggers and a couple of staves. Uh, so we've got this eldritch armor now, basically. I'm going to put that on hit points, physical resistance. Yeah, it sounds pretty good for a tank. TBH. Um, put the normal plate on Luis. A uh, priest. Don't have a monk this time, obviously. Who's missing? Wizard robe. There we go. Got some good stuff here now. Let's see. So obviously Solaris gets the mage thing and we'll give him the uh, book as well. Uh, we're going to give Bronn the cloak of violence, I think. As well as... Um, which one is it? This one, I think. The accuracy. Oh, well, I want to give him this one, though. The sneak attack damage. Yeah, that's probably... Very good one to have. I might give Luis that, because then that'll affect Bron, and then I can give Bron the ring that does that. Um, so we got. Uh, Solaris is our fire mage, isn't he? So that probably wouldn't help. Physical attack and penetration. Give that to Simchi, actually. Attack, dodge, and initiative. Let's give that to Luis. Physical resistance, I'll pop up there. Um, I would quite like to take the uh, the Basilisk, so why don't we take that, that, and that. So I'm missing some good stuff still, but, you know, it is what it is. Potions. So... Yeah, we'll take a full stack of each. I am going to take uh, some poison uh, bleed protection. I know we have a priest, but I think if, in an emergency, if we're getting a lot of poison stacks or bleed stacks, you know, just being able to clear that quite quickly. I'm only going to take one because we can always drop them if we uh, need to claim back space, which is another reason not to take too much other stuff. Um... So we'll take a couple of shovels, a couple of keys. Uh, there we go. And we're going to take supplies. It recommends uh, 20. So... Sure, let's take 20. We took way too many previously. And we're going to start the quest. Uh, yeah, that looks good. Didn't think I didn't see any kind of environmental stuff on this one. 
any modifiers, apart from having more loot, which is which is good for us, uh, obviously. Um, we're just gonna go around and do what we do, I think. Take that. Um, okay, we'll go. We may as well go down this way. We've got the wolf. Ooh, there's a lot of them. Uh, so I think we. How far can these guys get? Oh, and we've got like an alpha, a dire wolf alpha. It's only level three, but his dodge is pretty high. So I think with Rowan, I kind of want to put accuracy on someone. Uh, and who should we put it on? Uh, I might put it on... Things it's for two turns. Tell you what, we don't need to do that now. Let's just delay our turn. We'll see what happens. Okay, they've got even more dodge now. Okay, so we can't get there. That's one, two, three. Simchi could though. I think we just we just let the wolves come to us. I think still. counter. Okay, so who are we going to get the accuracy up on? Uh, tempted to put it on Solaris, I think. When we put on the big spells, we're going to want we're going to want it to do damage. There we go. Now, Bron, what can you do? 63. We probably want to bump that up. But it will do big damage if it hits. So let's just take a bravery point on this. 93. There we go. 42. Crit. Very nice. And I think we're going to uh, portal away. Hmm. I mean, as long as we're, you know, as long as we're hidden, we be good. So I think we'll just go there and be hidden. Luis, I think we come up here. Uh, it's only 46, yeah. So this is this is where it's going to be tough actually hitting these guys. 76, best we can do, really. Not enough. Solaris. Uh, so we have resistances. We can make things wet, so we could get like stuns with electric, magical shield. I think we're just going to put some fire on. Yeah, I don't want him getting attacked, so let's, uh, let's move him back. Feels like a bit of a waste for Simchi to come and hit this guy, but... I mean... <laughs> okay. I mean, yeah, I didn't use a bravery point to increase his accuracy, so that wasn't that much of a surprise. Oh, hello. Expected miss on the counter. Bron, though, has he got 64? I think we have to take a bravery point. Instant death. There we go, my boy. Nice one, Bron. Uh, yeah, this stuff might come and target him, I suppose. We'll just pull him back a little bit. We're going to need a heal, I think, coming in on Luis. So this one's dead. It's only a 46. I guess we'll take another VP. 76, come on. Nice. A 74. I think that might be the biggest crit we've seen yet. 74. Uh, Rowan, yeah, I think we get, uh, let's just get a heal coming coming in on Louise. You missed on an 86, so it's not just us, good to know. Uh, 40, I don't like the 40. What about this? That's still 40. I suppose we'll use a bravery point. 
Seventy? Yeah, I was gonna say it's not a guaranteed hit by 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 far. He dead. And Solaris. So it'd be quite nice to finish off this. I think we'll just use a magic missile though to do it. There we go. Rowan, uh, I think if we just put... Mm, okay, okay, I can't do the accuracy. I could maybe do this to make the wolf easier to hit, though. It's the wrong one. Only 54 chance. Okay, Rowan, well, you've got quite a lot of bravery points. So let's just do that. 84. There we go. Hopefully makes him easy to hit. The vulnerable thing, I think. I'm not sure. Rom... So I was trying to see if I could get height advantage. I mean, I could if I use more skill points. I'd rather avoid that. 63, let's believe. There we go. Good work, Rom. Okay, continue down here. I'm interested to see what the lockpick chance is on this. This is only a 14, so we will lockpick this. As long as he doesn't crit fail, we should be okay. Yeah. But I'm not so worried about the lightning elementals now it's not raining, so it'll be alright. There's quite a few of them, admittedly, and they're going to attack from range. They're all going first as well. They're getting aggressive. I don't like Bron. I don't think Bron likes them very much either. What have we got here? So it's a 79 to hit. Uh, actually, bring Bron back because uh, I'm going to delay him to try and get a sneak attack because that's where his damage comes from, really. I'm going to put an accuracy on. Uh, let's put it on Luis this time. I'll just hang here. Solaris, let's try and get like a high advantage on this guy. Uh, come back. We just come up here then. 85. Do it. Simshi, I kind of want to get a bit aggressive with Simshi's positioning now with Solaris there. So let's just uh, if we can get the kill. We can. Luis, I think I want him down here. He's got the accuracy buff. That, that looks like it's killing him. Ooh, not quite. Not quite. But that's fine, because my idea, my plan was to come up here with Bron and uh, just get a kill. There we go. We want Bron to be sneaky attacking, really. Okay, now they run and get really annoying. Yeah, I was wondering if I should have moved Bron away, like with the teleport thing, but I got a bit range. It's only 65, let's take a bravery point on that. So he'll take four damage, it's not quite a kill. Rowan, well, I think we need to uh, get a bit a decent heal on uh, Bron here. his basic attack like 69 try it got a crit to be fair to him it's good simchi yes we'll just bring it this way i kind of want to taunt that one oh they hate for on don't they 
we got seven. Right, we could kill it with the magic missile, so I think we should. It's the Labron. It's gonna get attacked again, I mean. Oh, it's not actually. Okay, yeah, because the taunt, of course. We used to, well, that one does die on its next turn, so I might leave it. Take a break at point. Try and do a big hit. Nope, it's a miss. Well, it doesn't feel good when you um, <laughs> miss on like an 87. You know, Solaris, it's only 65. Well, yeah, that's good. There we go, nice crit. I feel like Bron wanted the kill there just because uh, they were they were targeting him a lot. <laughs> Another chest. Looks like it's still going. This is, these are big maps now. What's this? Five magical attack. Yeah, it could be good. When we get into the like the boss encounter of this map, I might take that on um, Solaris. It lasts for five rounds, which is quite good. It's still going. How big is this map? It's like there's a blockage there, though, so we'll leave that. I know we've got shovels, but we'll probably get round it. We've got an elite coming up. Who is it? I don't know. You look like you're one of those bunny men type things. Might take some. That's a bit early to rest. Let's uh. I'll take some mana on a couple of guys. All right. Here we go. It's like a souped-up hunter that one. Oh no, they got okay. Well, t but because of the rain, they won't be stunning. Is the thing they won't be stunning our guys this time. Uh, they do shock. Don't know what that. I don't know what. Can't remember what shock does. So this is the boss. He's come right in here. He's 82 hit points. Uh, it looks like he's got lots of poison attack, encounter. He can regenerate eight hit points every turn. It says immortal, but he's not immortal. No. He has got huge physical resistance, though. So, uh, okay, that that changes things a little bit. We could um, the vulnerable. What does? I think vulnerable might be quite good on him. I think that will help us hit him. Let's let's try it. We can look. We examine his character sheet again afterwards. And kind of see what that's done for him. Uh, increased damage received by ten percent. Okay, it's not quite what I thought. I thought maybe it would help us uh, penetrate his uh, outer shell. Um, we might stacking bleed on him might be a good idea. Get a, we can get a sneak attack if we uh, do this. Uh, I'm gonna need. Yeah, we're gonna need a bit more AP. Okay. Mm, okay, we're gonna need a bravery point as well. He's tough to hit. Uh, 83 with an 85% chance of bleed. Sneak attack for seven. Got the bleed. Okay, well that's that's good. These warriors, what's their stand? Yeah, okay, their, their standard physical resistance isn't that much, so that's okay. I feel like we should be nuking this guy with spells because his he won't have any magic resistance. I expect. It well, I say that he is quite resistant, but I do have spell penetration. On uh, on Solaris, so I think what we do, we I think we're going to come up and I think we'll taunt on. 
because there's not much point in my sword guys attacking this guy. They're not going to be doing any damage to him. You know who would be good? An arcane knight. <laughs> we don't have one. Some of the Louise. I think we just come up and start beating these guys. So they're 63. Level 5. Why? Okay, I mean, they've got. They've probably got high dodge. There, yeah, they've got high dodge. Just going to every point because I'm going to go in with a big, big hit. Nice. One hit kill. Lovely. Uh, Solaris. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's see if we put some um, fire on this guy. It's only 49, we're going to have to do that. 79. And it's a miss! Because of course it's a miss. Everything that's 70% is a miss. They don't miss. Four of these guys. We've got, we got to get in there and start whacking them because they will nuke us from uh, range quite severely. I don't like Bron being the only one in on this guy. Thinking about it. I should try and get Simchi in if I can. Except he's going first. He heals eight and he kills... Oh, I was going to say he kills Bron. He almost did. But he's going on these guys now. Okay, well, obviously we're going to... Obviously we're going to come and heal Bron. And I think we're going to chuck a healing potion at him too. I don't want to lose Bron. You go. Hey, now it is Bron, so I think we can come up and stab one of these, uh, one of these guys. Uh, why did he? Why did he loot? He's only got two. Eight. Was that because he's shocked? Oh, that sucks. Okay. So we're gonna have to buy an AP. So now that you can't do very much of this. 78 chance to hit. Let's try and put some bleed on. So, he might die from that anyway. I think he'll die from the bleed. Okay, that's good anyway. Solaris. Okay, Solaris. We've got to try this again. I need you putting some spell damage on this guy and some burn. Put some weakness on him too. Um, do I? No, not right now. Forty-six percent. He's not doing any damage. I think. The oh, thing is, he'll take an attack of opportunity. That's the annoying thing. I want him in. I want to get him in. I think maybe it's worth it to get there. He'll take two attacks of opportunity. to a power hit on this guy. I hope we hit. It's a 78, which is the danger zone, but we've got it. Oh, he counted as well. Counter back. Got the seven. Nice. Can we stun? 95% chance. It's only a 50% hit though, so let's try and make a bit more sure of that, and we'll stun the guy. Let's send him all the way back there, crashing into the other one. But I don't think that's going to do enough damage, so let's just get the stun. So here's the danger guy. Oh, leave Bron alone! At least, he, at least he's dead. Ron, I think we come in, stab, and then portal away. Although I can't, I can't do it because of the bravery points. Yeah, I've just got, I've just got to run Bron away. I think. Uh, we'll take a, we'll take a healing potion though. Uh, who else is getting quite low? 
give it to Simchi. Although, no, I'm going to give actually give Simchi uh, Divine Guidance. No, I should give it to Lewis. Or should I give it to Rowan? I'm going to give it to, uh, sorry, Solaris. So he's doing more reliable damage to this guy. good. Okay, he's going to need healing potion. He's run out of bravery points too, so he can't do anything this time, unfortunately. Leave him alone! Oh my god, they really nuke down. If there's a guy on low, they just go for them. And I think Lewis will die here. Lewis. Um... I don't see a way to avoid it, but well, okay, we can. I'm gonna have to chuck another healing potion at him. Do that on him. Solaris needs to be doing damage to the boss. Okay, we're good. Yeah, okay, we're gonna have to. Ninety-five. Put some burn on. He should die. Well, it depends when the heal clicks in on his turn, but he could potentially die next turn. Um, I want Solaris around here, kind of being able to target these. I think. Simchi. Okay, let's try and get the kill on him. There he goes. Okay, movement. Well, we want to we want to get guys up here to target these assholes. So, I think Luis might have died if it hadn't been for that heal that we put on him. So we're going to put another one, which is better: curing the poison or getting the heal. I think probably getting the heal. I'm going to buy two AP to cure that poison as well. I think we'll probably have to rest after this fight. But then this is the tough fight on the maps, so to be expected, I guess. 78, come on, Brom. Yeah. Resisted the bleed, unfortunately. Hit back, might get a kill. Got the kill. Simchi, let's. Uh, actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shove him. Yeah, that's what I was hoping for. Okay, good. Solaris, I think we have to nuke this one. Luis, oh, he's gonna have. Ah, oh, yeah, he can't do anything, so just get him out of the way. He didn't do anything. I wonder if he panicked. Um, release the basilisk. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna move away as well. Let him come to us if he wants to zap us. Damn it. Uh, I'm gonna leave Bron. I might just leave. Oh, Solaris. We'll move him. Okay, um, this little git. What do we want to do with him? Uh, we empower Solaris. We will move Bronx. He has that throw knife ability. Give it a go. 53. <laughs> I'm glad we did. Now Solaris' turn. I think we'll just, well. Don't need to preserve mana. Let's go with the big guns. 
Okay, well, we took some licks there. We used a lot of our healing, unfortunately, but... Well, what can you do? Oh, this is another lightning cloak. This is a cloak of fire. Okay. So this one... Gain fire resistance. Okay, could be useful to have. Uh, we do have some of these. This one, plus 20 initiative. Maybe. Let's open inventory, though. So we can only get a couple of these things in. Um, I think probably we can lose one wolf spleen, I think. I've got these up. up yeah, I was going to save this for the boss fight, maybe. We're going to camp now, but that doesn't really help us now. We can get rid of the dodge ring. Get rid of the poison resistance ring, so I've got those. Um, these should stack. But yeah, they do. Okay, so let's take that, that. That. We can actually take, should take quite a bit, actually. That, that. Got three more spaces. Okay, well, we'll take the spleen. We'll take that. And we've got loads of dodge rings. We'll take that, I suppose. Oh, we might as well take the dodge ring. Okay. Let's, uh, let's come down here. It's not the wolf there. We were just there. Oh, actually, we didn't go in that area, did we? Can't actually get around to it from this angle. Is there any reason to go in there? I don't think... I can't see any... Oh, there's a, there is a treasure chest, but... Ah, uh, well... We'll try and get by without it, I think. There's one there. Any money, money? Just seeing as far as I can go before we rest, basically, because of the stamina. I'm trying to make best use of that. Wood. Mm. Leave the dodge ring. So we're going to rest now, I think. Let's just have a quick look up here. Ooh, it's an event. But definitely rest before that. So 0% chance of an ambush. We'll do all 10, so we've actually cleared another stack of that. Unfortunately, Louise has got this shaken thing, which is annoying. Um, can't clear it, unfortunately, while we're here. Um, I think Rowan probably needs to mana up. Bron needs a bit more BP. So does Luis, but yeah, I suppose he does. Reuse it all on this. Luis, then I, th I think we'll sharpen the sword, so he's doing a bit more damage. There we go. Have you ever thought about your past life before becoming an adventurer, if it was the right decision? Uh, oh, I missed that. Damn it. <laughs> I'm awake. Okay, let's do the event. The party came across a lonely house in the woods with an old woman sitting on a bench in front of the house and smoking on a wooden pipe. She looked at the adventurers and smiled. Uh... I've advanced. Oh, I see you're from that adventurer guild. The old woman started to gaze into the distance, seemingly reminiscing about something. Still not used to it. Adventurers used to be so different in my time. After a short, uncomfortable silence, she looked back to the group and started to smile again. I heard you're supposed to be decent people now. If that's the case, I was wondering if you'd be willing to help an old lonely lady like myself. I still have so many chores to do in this house, but my back is feeling especially bad today. I'd be very grateful if you could do them for me. Who knows? If you do a good job, I might even have a reward for you in the end. All right, let's help her. Oh, I, I, I thought, did I click the wrong thing? Hang on. I'm going to, let's load. I thought I did click the thing to help her. I think it'd be longer to load the larger maps. Yeah, let's start this event, because I thought we were helping her. Uh, my, my, if it isn't a group of adventurers, I hope you're not here to rob me. Okay. So I thought, oh, I did click that. Okay, agree to help the old woman. 
How sweet of you. Hope you won't regret it. The old woman said and gave the adventurers a mischievous smile. The group suddenly had a feeling they might have got themselves into something rather troublesome. First thing I'd like to do is to chop some firewood for me. I don't have much more left. How much you ask? How about enough to completely fill up my storage room? The old woman said and pointed to a little house big enough to probably fit two whole trolls in it. Uh, endurance 10. I think we can manage that. Uh, let's do it with Luis. Oh, is it a group roll? Oh, well, I should have done it with Simchi. Uh, <laughs> Simchi's the one who critically failed. Okay, come on. There we go. Adventurers started to chop down the nearby trees, splitting the wood with a wedge. It was hard work, but none of the adventurers had any trouble with the physically demanding work, and it didn't take long until they chopped enough wood to last for a lifetime. Despite the good work the party did, the old woman looked slightly disappointed. That was great work, everyone. With this, I don't have to worry about firewood for quite a while. I do hope you're not done just yet. There are still a few things I'd like you to do. Now, I'd like you to check on my traps. I put a lot of them in an area where there's usually a high amount of critters. It'd be a great help if you could check if they caught anything. But be careful. I don't want to brag, but I'm pretty good at setting up hard to spot traps. So you need to be careful while searching. They're meant for small sized critters, so don't you don't have to worry too much about any lasting injuries. I'd like to tell you exactly where the traps are placed, but alas, my memory isn't what it used to be. So you just have to keep your eyes open. The party started to suspect that the old lady had it in for them. Ooh, 21 dex checks pretty hard. Uh Probably get a couple of re-rolls. We need oh, yeah, that was close, but we need at least nine. Oh my god, Bron! <laughs> oh my god. This is the worst run of rolling I've ever seen in my life. Bron pathetic. <laughs> the old woman wasn't kidding when she said that the traps were hard to spot. They were skillfully laid in a way where they were perfectly blended with their environment. It wouldn't be that surprising to accidentally set off a trap even if you did know where they were laid. Unfortunately for the party, they didn't know, and it wasn't too surprising that during their checkup they have accidentally triggered several traps. When they finally arrived back to the old lady, many of them were battered and bruised. A sorry sight for most, but apparently a delightful one for the old lady who had to hide a big grin. Great, we're gonna get shaken on Bron again, on Bron, aren't we? Now I've only got one last task for you all, and it's an easy one this time says the old woman. There is a certain herb I found a liking to, and I'd like you to collect them for me. No, don't worry, I can tell you exactly where to find them, and this time there won't be any traps. But it might be a little far away. She gave them a brief description of the place they're supposed to go, and the party realised it would be a long march. Lose 50 stamina. Oh, we can do that, we've just rested. Yeah. The party had already invested too much time to leave things unfinished, so they went on their way to the place where the herbs were supposed to be. Their travel, despite being long, was quite uneventful, contrary to what the group expected. Maybe the old woman meant it when she said it was an easy task. After a while, the group finally managed to arrive at the place and easily identified the herbs the old woman described. They were basically scattered all over the place. There we go. Alright Rowan, you need an eight. The herb they were supposed to collect was a plant rooted deeply into the ground. As they see it, they had to pull them out of the ground to collect them. But when each of them started to pull the very first herb out of the ground, they suddenly heard the highest pitched scream they've ever heard. They immediately covered their ears, but it did little to nothing. Rowan immediately realised what herb they were about to collect, mandrakes, a herb that would scream if you pulled it out of the ground. Luckily he knew that the screams were by themselves completely harmless, however they were still annoying. Good thing Rowan knew exactly how to make them stop. He stabbed one of the mandrakes in the part which eerily resembled a human face. It gave one last scream and then finally turned silent. The rest of the group immediately did the same to their mandrakes, and much to their relief, everything was quiet again. With the mandrakes now collected, they returned to the old lady, who was surprised that she didn't hear the adventurers from ten miles away. Well, I don't... I think I don't have anything else for you to do! The old lady stayed silent for a while. I guess adventurers have really changed, she said sadly. Without a word, she went into her room and came back with an old weapon. Here, you can have this. I don't need it anymore. I never did any good with it anyway. Now, please leave. I don't actually like company. With this, the party finally left the old woman, who in the end never even told them her name. How about we take some for ourselves? I was just joking. We've gained a rather nice sword and shield set. Uh, we'll have a look how that compares to the ones uh, Simchi currently has equipped, but that was pretty nice. Okay, let's have a look. So this one, 
8 physical attack, 12 block. 8 physical, 12 block. This is 12, 20% healing received, which is quite nice. Uh, hmm. Doesn't have the 10 physical resistance. Um. Hmm. Ah, oh, let's equip it. It's a special weapon. Right. It wasn't, it wasn't an exact upgrade, though. I mean, if you were still using the basic one, it would have been for sure. Uh, Luis has taken a bit of a battering, actually. I think we might use a healing potion on him. Not exactly in the best shape, but we'll carry on. Oh, okay. Uh... I have lots of this stuff. I might just I might just leave it. Critical fail to miss this. Right, okay. Well, all this can move over. That can move over. And this is something we got more of at home, so that's fine. Oh, so we've got quite a lot left to go. There's the boss. So, I feel like Bronn's going to need some bravery. We could camp again. If I did, what is the ambush? 20%. Let me risk it. I need to give Bronn some, um, some <laughs> bravery points. I might take, yeah, let's take the weapon sharpening. And Simchi will take the extra physical resistance. There we go. And we'll just hope we don't get ambushed. 20% chance. We've already had one. Hey, did you see that new sword I got? It's got a wicked edge. Yeah, it looks great. But can you actually swing it without falling over? Ah, very funny. I can swing it just fine. You're just jealous because your sword is tiny in comparison. Oh, hey now, I'll have you know that size doesn't matter. It's all about technique. <laughs> sure, sure. Keep telling yourself that. I feel well rested. Okay, well we'll do... Let's get the wood first. Right. Boss fight time. So we're going to take... Ooh, hello. That's what we got here. Yeah, that's the leader. He's not giving any particular buffs to the rest, though. We have got this guy. So I think what we'll do is we'll... There is... There's only one ranged, so we'll let them come to us. Uh, when it comes to Solaris, I'm going to actually give him the uh, Minor Mage potion. Last for five turns, that. What else can he do? Uh, wet for three turns. Target target gains a barrier, negating damage up to 50%. So that'd be 12. All this physical resistance. Uh, well, how long does it last? Three turns. Let's put some more physical resistance on Luis then. So he's a bit tankier. Good. Let's just see what the others do. Okay, Rowan, I think we should give extra accuracy and crit to Luis. Luis is our hot heavy hitter. gain an AP and set the uh, Basilisk loose as well. Now 
Now, Bron, I would have liked to have delayed you again. Um, there's no one there we can sneak attack. I can throw a knife. Throw it at the boss, 64. Yeah, okay. It's a mess. Predictable. All right, Luis, let's push up as far as we can. I think we'll take a power swing at this band at 95%. Not quite a kill. Simchi. Come from this one. I'm going to taunt the boss. I want him to come in on Simchi. Uh, and we'll pull that armor up. Oh, little basilisk! Damn stun. We can we can get take it off him though. Ninety-five, go on now. Twenty-eight, not bad. And he's poisoned and on fire. Bron, well, I think we're going to attack this one. He's taunted, so he should come up and attack Simchi. So I'm going to let that happen, I think. Rowan, let's get the stun off Luis. Uh, Hit back. Nice. Now I'm gonna come up and try and get rid of this ranged guy, I think. There he goes. Now, Simchi, I th think we stunned the boss. Smack this guy as well. Oh, no, we can't. <laughs> Never mind. Hey, Rowan. Do, 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 do. What can we do with Rowan? He's got a lot of HP still. I think we could make him vulnerable, so he's actually going to take more uh, more damage on this turn. Let's put it back a bit as well. Nice counter. Bron. Yeah, let's put some bleed on this guy. 95. Hit. Sounds pretty good. Big crit. Nice bleed. Uh, let's just move him a square away so he doesn't get hit. Hopefully. Let me put the fire on. It's a miss. Solaris, I'm actually going to use you to uh, try again, I think. Trying to miss two 25s, uh, 95s in a row. There we go. Oh, nice. A crit from the Basilisk. Poison the guy. He might be dead on his turn now. The Simchi lets... 91% um, chance to hit. Yeah, okay. Oh, it's a good hit. Yeah. I was considering smacking him over there, but it's fine. Um, 58. Let's just take a bravery point on that. There he goes. It's hard, does Luis. Dead, dead. We're on. Here we get the finish. 95, 95% crit as well. Oh, he missed! Oh my god! Okay, um, well, he's going last. The leader's going last, so let's just try and uh, take him down the old fashioned way. So, Bron managed to miss on a 95% hit with a 95% chance of critting. It was quite the thing. There he goes. Let's continue for now. So, yeah, we've got quite a lot of stuff we haven't explored yet. 
It's supposed to be quite a treasure heavy map, so we could, yeah, there we go. Come on, Brom. There we go, got it this time. I might have the mage potion actually. I think it did quite well on that on that last one. Uh, so it's okay, right? Okay, yeah. Head over here and then head up. Ah, uh, let's just finish up. Let's go. We've done the objective. Big promotions on everyone. In fact, someone like Luis, he might even have got two levels. Uh, okay, we'll see how that goes. I mean, it's. I think it's still good to level up quickly because, like I said, we, we we're just gonna we're gonna be spreading out the contracts amongst like five adventuring parties. So. Um, we need these guys to level up quick, basically. Pretty nice, can't complain at that. Ooh. Lewis needs to get to strength 10 and intelligence 10. He, he, he might, if he gets two levels, he might do it. I'd love for him to be an arcane knight. Well, we're gonna reroll that, I think. Oh. Let's re-roll that because I really want this intelligence to start going up. There we go. Okay. So he needs he needs two more intelligence. It's um if we find a way to increase that it would be good. Yeah. Okay. So that's good for Luis. Rowan. Rowan's in a very happy mood despite his despite looking miserable as ever. <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay, we'll go with that. Now, to become a bishop, he needs 12 wisdom, so he, he does need more wisdom, unfortunately. But, uh, what else have we got? Simchi. Now, he needs... So, he, as long as he gets one strength here, which is, should be doable, he will be a guardian. There we go. Very good, so he's now qualified as a guardian, so we'll get him to take that advanced class. Solares. Uh, yeah, that went pretty well. And he's trying for high mage, so he needs intelligence 12, so he's what he's one off now, so next level up that should be doable. And then we've got um do 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 bulls leveled up again. Yeah, I'll take that. Okay, so let's do some leveling up at the training grounds. Luis. Okay, so he's going to be... Is it... We want him to be an arcane knight. Well, let's not worry too much about that right now. Um, maybe movement? Like I said, I do kind of want their movements to start going up. I mean, charge could be good. I mean, that's a way for him to get movement. It does cost SP, though. I think we're just going to get the Pathfinder upgrade on everyone. So we're all able to move a little bit further. Here we go, Simchi is going to become our Guardian. Guardians act as the very first line of defense with their shields and take the brunt of the damage to protect their allies. Their durability can't be matched by any other class and are therefore the prime choice to act as the tank in a party. There we go. What is it going to look like now? How long does that take? That takes one day. Okay. Um, yeah. Alright, that's it for now. What have we got here again? So these guys get accuracy and dodge. We can maybe put all our um, archers in. So if we put in like Pierce... Uh, 
Spades. Tony. I feel like I'm missing one. Where's Hyper? Ah. Yeah. And we could maybe put in a rogue as well. Accuracy and dodge. Maybe I'll put maybe I'll put the monk in. Maybe I'll put Flora Blitz in. Hey, 100% chance of success. No injuries. It's going to take three days, though, so we'll send these guys off. Going to increase accuracy and dodge, which I think is good. Worth doing, I'm sure. Uh, upgrades. We still, yeah, spyglass. Inspect an enemy. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that probably will. That probably will be helpful. To be fair. Okay. Now, injuries-wise, who have we got? No one should be out for that long currently. Yeah, they're looking okay. Just checking the, the time of the video. It's probably about it for, for today, I think. Just have a look in here. If there's anyone with, like, amazing traits, it could be worth looking at. So we're kind of looking for, like, the talent. What's this one? Born leader. Bravery. Willpower growth. Chain attack. Greedy. Tiny. Resi oh, that's quite resilient, brave, pretty is, yeah, that's okay. Then sickly, which isn't great. Yeah, no one is jumping out. I was looking for sort of, you know, the talented uh, trait. There, there isn't really anyone here who's got that. Oh, he's got something to say. Yo, what's up? Uh, when we first met you, you told us that you left your village to find students for your martial arts style. You mean my fist in your face style? Mm, yeah. I was wondering if everybody there wears clothes like yours. It seems kind of foreign to me. Well, I think my old folks said something about our ancestors coming from far away and founding that village. But I didn't really listen. Who cares anyway? Not like the people inside my village and those outside differ so much. They all suck at taking a punch. So you're also like this at home? My old man always said that people talk with their fists. But lately when I communicate with my father, he's always quick to shedding tears. I guess old age made him emotional. <laughs> Sounds more like his lessons have backfired on him. You mentioned your father before. Is there anyone else in your family? Of course there are. My mother, for example. Duh. Is she like you? Yeah. Unlike me, she occasionally gets beaten up by the old man. Domestic violence? But sometimes she does get a few good hits back. Huh? I guess her track record against my old man is about 40 to 60, perhaps? Are you saying that your parents usually fight each other? Of course they do. How else would they determine the head of the family? So I guess the whole family's like that, huh? Of course, by the time I was 16, I was able to beat both their asses and became top dog of the house. After that, they never got their position back. Not even when they tried to ambush me together. <laughs> I also had an older brother who tried to put his hat into the ring for the position of the house head. But when his five-year-old sister was able to beat him up, he disappointingly gave up and started farming instead. He was probably like, screw this shit, I'm out of here. He actually married the neighbor's girl. The two of them have been multiplying like rabbits. They probably have their 12th kid right now. Is the girl all right? I actually wanted to take all my nieces and nephews as students, but for some reason my older brother was so much against it. Well, whatever. Maybe next time when I'm back. I think the world isn't ready for buying a horde of miniature versions of her running around wrecking places. Uh, bandits? Bandit attacks were the best when I was traveling. Sure, the fights were mostly lackluster, and most of the time they already went down after a hit. But they usually had stuff with them I could use or sell. Even better when they had booze with them. Sometimes I would travel up and down a road hoping to get ambushed. I'd like, to, I'd like to say I'm surprised, but I'd be lying. Okay, that's all. Uh, has that opened up anything here? I don't think it has. I don't think we really need any of this stuff right now. Hit points and SP. I mean, yeah, it's okay. I think we'll end it there, but we, when we come back, we could, we could look to do something else. Um, who might be free to go on a mission? Well, all of the dragons are out currently. Um, Hyper's out here, but we could substitute someone in to send the rising stars out. Uh, yeah, the A-team's all out. Shades is out again. So maybe these guys... I feel like these guys haven't really been out, so we could do them. I could substitute someone else in for Tony, perhaps. Um, like, uh, maybe send... Oh, Odin's out for a little bit. 
Who could they do with? Mm, probably, yeah, they've got a tank. Like sort of a melee damage dealer. I might, yeah, I might send out Odin again. If we, we could heal him up ready. Because, uh... I mean, he can basically just guide them through it. I mean, I guess what we'd probably do is they're all level fours is... Yeah, although it says level four to five, it is pretty tough. Maybe we'll send them out to collect items. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll decide that next time anyway. I was just thinking, because these guys are all level four, I kind of maybe wanted them to level up again before we sort of tackle a, a three-star mission. Um, but then once they are, we've got some five sevens. Kristoff's still a four. Yeah, I think we want to send these guys out because I think they haven't been out for ages. But anyway, thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, if you could hit the thumbs up button, that'd be great. Be sure to let me know in the comments what you think of the playthrough so far, what you think of the game, what you think of our adventurers, uh, and what you think of the adv advanced classes that we've seen so far. Um, did we see one today? We didn't, but we have seen uh, Simchi is levelling up to become a guard, our first guardian, which would be nice to see them in action. Uh, yeah, let me know. And if you're watching this and haven't already subscribed to the channel, it would be amazing if you could do that. So thanks very much, and I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.